Madam Secretary, Senator, thanks for making the time for us. Well, when you allocate $500 million of taxpayer money to develop a new we weapon system, you find the time. Yeah, we're eager to see what you've been working on. Uh, of course. My orders in heading this project were clear. Make America the technological leader in the battlefield. But the battlefield has changed, and so must our soldiers. Enough with the foreplay, Major. You're gonna whip it out or what? <laughs> Bit of a crude way to put it, but uh, yes, yes. Imagine a soldier with undying loyalty, built-in night vision, supersonic hearing, and the ability to track an enemy scent with 15,000 times the accuracy of a normal human nose. You're telling me you've made an AI-driven robotic soldier with that kind of capability? Oh, even better. We made this. Okay. Major, what am I looking at? Project Domino, subject 119C, also known as Doghead Man. You put a dog's head on a human being's body? A uh, dog's head and neck, ma'am. Okay, and you want to send that thing into active combat? Oh, absolutely. Doghead Man is an extremely well-trained battlefield asset. In fact, he can assemble a TAC-9 carbine combat rifle faster than any human soldier. Observe. And go, doghead man. I just have one question, Major. Does this thing go to the bathroom on a toilet, or does it go outside and you gotta clean up after it? That's your one question? I think the American people would want to know. <laughs> and time. Eleven seconds. Good girl, doghead man. Did you say good girl? Uh, yes. It's a female dog's head on a human man's body. Shall we begin prepping for mass production? Absolutely not. Where did you even get the parts to make this thing? Uh, let's not worry about that. I should also mention that doghead man is trained in over 46 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat. <clears throat> I don't know about you, ma'am, but if I saw this coming at me on the battlefield... <laughs> if I saw this thing coming at me on the battlefield... I would drop my weapon and run away. Yeah, well, of course you would. Look at you. Look, I'm sorry, but I don't think the U.S. military can get behind this project. How can you say that, ma'am? Look at him. That is the finest soldier this country has ever produced. Good. Really? Really, Major? You think that thing could handle a high-level mission? You think that thing could have taken Bin Laden? Oh, not only would Doghead Man have taken Bin Laden out, he would have eaten him, too. Well, well that's a war crime. Well, ma'am, I just don't think you're seeing the bigger picture here. I am, and it's extremely disturbing. Yeah, I, I have to agree. I have to agree. I'm not going to sign off on this until I know where that thing goes to the bathroom. Look. Look, if I didn't believe this would save American lives, I would not have convinced my father to donate his body and his dog to this project. I mean, look what he's doing right now. He's defusing a bomb, for God's sake. Doghead man. Doghead man. Doghead man. He's investigating his own body. It happens. Doghead man. Doghead man. He's still eating his sandwich. Look, doghead man. Doghead man. He's just... Good. Good dog head man. Red wire. Wow. Good. He's cutting the detonator wire first. Good. They're just licking it. Ah, uh, whatever. You guys went into this wanting to hate it, so nothing we can say can change your mind. Guess we'll uh, close the project down and let China take the lead in Doghead Man soldiers. Whoa, 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 whoa! China is working on one of these. Well, why didn't you say so? Get get mass production started immediately. Oh yes, ma'am. We're gonna need to find a lot of animal shelters that'll look the other way. Mm -hmm. <laughs>